Hi everyone, you see the little halo over my head. God is so good. I wanna to pause today and say to you, you know the reason why God doesn't reveal the in-betweens to us? It's simple because if he did, we would not have taken the step in the first place. If we knew the process to get to our destiny, many of us would not have taken the step in the first place. We are simply walking by faith and not by sight. And when we find ourselves in the middle, thinking about Joseph, when he found himself in the prison, he was exactly where God wanted him to be. And if if in the dream, when he, when he first got it, if God revealed to him that Joseph, hey, you're going to be in the prison, Joseph probably wouldn't have said anything about his dream. But God allows us to find ourselves in these predicament. One, to build our character. Two, to get us to our expected end. And what I found about his story that was so fascinating was that Joseph was wondering, just like we, when we find ourselves in the valley, when we find ourselves in testing, when we find ourselves in situation that like, God, where are you in the prison moments? I found this to be quite interesting. Then God now began to reveal the rest of Joseph's uh, purpose through um, Pharaoh. Pharaoh now began to have a dream. And the only person that had the solution for that dream was Joseph. Mm, think about it. The only person that had a solution for Joseph, for, for, for Pharaoh's dream was Joseph. But where was Joseph? In the prison. So when you find yourself in the valley, when you find yourself in the testing, when you find yourself in the flood, don't give up. That's not the place for you to give up. God wants you right there, smack dab in the middle of it, at the point of no return, that you can look back and say, you know what? There's no point of going back right now. There is no point of going back right now. And when you're at that place and you, you begin to say those words and you begin to mentally uh, uh, believe those words, God said, I got them exactly where I want them. At the point of no return joseph was at the point of no return and then god began to give pharaoh dreams about the future that only joseph alone could unlock you're right where you are because god said i you have the solution to somebody else's problem you have the solution to the world's crisis you have the solution so stay where you are there is no point of going back now there is something great in this season there is something great in this moment you're going to change life you're going to transform a nation you're going to do something astronomical stay where you are there's no sense of going back now i've made up in my mind i am not going back not anytime soon i want you to make that declaration i am not going back anytime soon I am in the place where God wants me to be. It may be uncomfortable. I may not like it. I may not understand it. I, 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 may, be, I may have a lot of questions. That's all right. We're at the point of no return because God is about to release your purpose through somebody else's dream, somebody. Oh, this feels so good. God is about to reveal your next step through the dreams that he's going to give to other people that only you alone will have the solution for. Mm, 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 mm. So listen, until next time, I'll see you on the side of victory. I know that you are already victorious because he has won the victory. We'll talk soon. Bye now. <laughs>